I'll be there in four days for the start of an either sex archery elk hunt in the rut. And I've never used a bugle call before. I just bought one. I have four days to learn how to use it. The store I went to in town, Bymart, is probably one of only two places in Grants Pass that even carries elk calls, the other one being Walmart. And I just didn't feel like going in that madhouse, so I bought one of the only two calls they had on the rack. They were both the same. Jones Calls Imitator 2, Elk Bugle. And I went on YouTube, and surprisingly, I found a really good instructional video on this call and it didn't sound half bad when the guy was blowing it in fact it sounded pretty damn good to bugle with the imitator to hold the call up at a 25 degree angle with the diaphragm up and the solid plastic sound plate down place your upper lip at the top of the call and the lower lip on the edge of the hard plastic plate where it meets the diaphragm All right. Well, I can't go outside to do this. I'm not going to go out in the garage where it's like 180 degrees. The dogs are out in the other room. They're just going to have to tough it out. Oh, I don't know what this stuff is for. Probably to hook onto it to carry it. I'm just thinking maybe this goes through here because of the diameter and it hooks on Probably right there, maybe, huh? We shall see. And this is probably a lanyard for it. One thing I do kind of like about it is the size. It's going to be pretty, pretty sweet to carry. In all the years I've hunted elk, which have been quite a few, I've just always used a cow call. So I wanted a bugle call, and now I have one. This cover is a nice soft fleece. It's in true timber camo. I'm going to give it a try. <laughs> don't laugh too hard, okay? <laughs> Go easy on me. I don't remember. Your lip is supposed to be against one of these. The soft part of the... Oh, it's got to be the... That's the diaphragm there. And I guess this is interchangeable. You can buy two different versions of the diaphragm here for making different type calls. It comes with a um, raghorn diaphragm. That's the standard one it comes with. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Alright, I'm kind of getting the idea now. <laughs> uh, maybe I should just stick with my cow call. <laughs> I'm going to need all four days, believe me. In fact, I could probably use 40 days. Well, I'll play with this a little bit and come back in a while, see if I've made any progress. Okay, I've been practicing for exactly five minutes. Here goes. Hey, I don't think that sounded too bad. It sounded pretty good to me. I mean, come on, five minutes? It's basically you put your lip against this part and you kind of roll it into your uh, lip to control the uh, pitch and the uh, loudness of it and how long it goes on. Just like the guy said on the instructional video. Wow. Oh shit, I didn't have it in tight enough. What do you think, guys? Oh, he freaked out. He freaked. <laughs> Poor, 
Look at them. They're all like their heads are down. They're freaked. All right, keep at it. Damn it. I have to remember too, this is a raghorn call. So I'm not gonna get that big, deep bull elk resonance from it. Hey, I'm pretty pleased with this thing. I mean, I've been at it for uh, 10 minutes now and I'm making some passable bull elk sounds. Well, that's my new elk call, the Imitator 2. Oh, makes pretty good alcohol too.